Greetings YouTubers, this is Ephraim with EQE3 Enterprise coming at you again once again with a weekly startup and small business roundup. Today, I only have one business to, to spotlight. The reason being is I was extremely busy last week, didn't have time to do any research, but I'm going to try to fix that this coming week. Also, it's one of the first and so far only Kickstarter projects that I backed. I thought they deserved their own show. Anyway, and that would be the Micro 3D 3D printer. The first truly consum consumer 3D printer by M3 M3D LLC. Uh, HTTP colon slash slash the micro the micro 3D dot com. Now, links will be in the description of this video. Uh, and, the, and the Kickstarter page is a little bit longer. It's uh, www.kickstarter.com slash projects slash M3D slash the dash micro dash the dash furly furly first dash truly dash consumer dash 3d dash printer i'll put the link in the description as well and they say uh, the first truly consumer 3d printer should be incredibly intu intuitive easy to own and seamless by design sounds good to me and they say it's the most most affordable 3d printer that can be used right out of the box perfect for beginners and experts or experts alike just plug in the printer, download or create models, hit print and watch your custom creations form right before your eyes. And that appeals to me, only reason is because it's affordable. I can't, I mean, if I, I couldn't really justify $1,000 for a 3D printer because I don't know if I'd be doing any serious 3D printing, but it'd be one of those fun technologies to play with or it could come in, it could come into handy. You know, my business, I, the two businesses I have don't really require any 3D printing, but it'd be, it'd be a good start. Maybe someday I can work up to a MakerBot or an Ultimaker. More expensive with this one. It looks like it's in retail for about $2.99. So that's what appeals to me. And it, it's small enough that I can put it on my desk because I don't have a whole lot of room in there right now. And the price, of course. The fact that you can use about any filament that's out there. That's another plus. It says, uh, a fantastic 3D printing experience. This is from their website. So we built the micro with reliability, consistency, and accessibility in mind. Micro motion technology is a sensor and feedback system built into the, in the, into the print head, providing auto leveling and auto calibration. This means that every time you run the printer, it works, even after thousands of hours of use. The micro is not only a useful tool, it makes 3D printing an enjoyable experience for the everyday person. And a lot of fun too, I can imagine. You can use either PLA or ABS filament as well as their microfilament that they're making themselves. Spool, their microfilament spools or standard 1.7 millimeter filament spools available on the market. So it gives you a lot of choices. It says the microfilament spools are fed from the inside of the from inside the printer. Alternatively you can use an external filament access port located on top of the extruder. <coughs> so and the software that comes with this is a 3D design software you design your own 3D objects or you can download them. There's a couple of sites that <clears throat> people use. I'll have to look them up and put them in the link so you can check them out. It says it allows you to search and browse countless objects online organizing 3D models you've downloaded into an easy to view library. Just pick a model, drag it into the printer, <clears throat> adjust the model if need, needed and hit print. Software should not be, the bar be a barrier to 3D printing and I agree with that. It's our goal to make the micro accessible to everyday users. And there's an expert settings too if you happen to be, you know, such as open source slicers. So, so if you're a veteran 3D printer and you have this, you're good to go. Okay, <clears throat> comes in five colors initially. They might add more colors later. I don't know, but the first five colors are oops, blue, green, black, silver, and orange. So... Very good. I mean, if you want to color code it to your desk or your computer or whatever, I guess you can do that. So, let's see, there's something here. So, the tech specs, I'll read a few of them. Dimensions, it's basically a cube. It's 7.3 inches per side, so it's pretty small. And roughly 2.2 pounds. So it can, can also be used with any Windows, Mac, or Linux-based system. That's cool. Maybe I'll try it with Fedora and see what happens when I ever get one, because it should be out... I think sometime early mid next year, I think they're going to start shipping the, start shipping out at least the ones that people pledge for. So, yeah, I can wait. I need to save up my money anyway. USB compatible connection, that's good. So basically, it prints right from the computer. <coughs> what do you mean? Some of the other ones on the market, you had to put your 
bottle on a, a little SD card, then you plug it into the printer so it doesn't. It's pretty much standalone, but this one looks like it prints in. It, plug, it stays plugged in, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, doesn't say anything about a card slot, but of course the pictures don't really show that either. That might be some for a, a later model, so but that's okay. It gives you a little less choice of where you want to put it unless you want to get like a 15 foot USB cable. Then uh, it says supports many different materials: ABS, PLA, nylon, and more. I don't know much about the, the different kind of filaments. I'd have to research it, but there's some of them that you should have it by an open window so you don't gas yourself to death. But or I think ABS or like it. One of them supposedly smells like waffles, from what I hear. So who knows? It's melting plastic. So who knows what it smells like? It says filament standard 1.75 millimeter, nearly half pound rolls. Standard filament rolls are also supported. Removable print bed, 50-350 micron layer resolution, 15 micro X and Y position accuracy. The print head, print height, 116, 4.6 inches, and the base areas. Now well, you can look it out online. It's, it's like 4.6 inches is about the high as you can print. And the base print area is 109 millimeters by 113 millimeters. Print area above is 74 millimeters, 91 millimeters by 84 millimeters. So. Now it says supports and uses open source software for advanced users. And the file type supported by their software is .stl and .obj. It says compatible with Mac and PC. Linux will also likely be supported. That's a good thing. And they have a list of 15 innovations. It says M3D has introduced many innovations in the field of filament-based 3D printing with the, with the introduction of the micro. The most space-efficient 3D printer ever made. Lightweight, portable design, fits nicely on your desk. I like that. Uh, micro motion chip provides complete automatic leveling and calibration. Most quiet 3D printer ever made. I'm guessing most of the other higher the higher end 3D printers you have to calibrate it by hand before you start printing, etc. But not a bad thing. I'm just just it's a different thing. This is meant for plug and play, you know. So that you start out with and work your way up to the bigger ones like the Ultimaker or the or the MakerBots or whatever. Because they're around what thousand dollars. This one's like three hundred. So good place to start, especially for me. I can get a grasp on 3D printing. Maybe someday I can get a better one. Be like Barnicles and Ergasm. I have about 14 3D printers along one wall. <laughs> now he's got three or four of them, I believe. But still, it'd be a good place to start. It's the most quiet 3D printer ever made. I've never heard one printing. So, most power consumption 3D printer ever made. It's carbon fiber rods, light, sturdy, self-lubricating, and long-lasting. Uh, ceramic heater for rapid heat up. Power efficiency, reliability, and safety. Oh, it had the colors in the list here. <laughs> Silver, black, blue, red, orange, and green. Okay, red, orange, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, new filament materials like chameleon PLA. I don't know anything about that. I have to look those up. Inspirational microfilament spools. Okay. Modernized touch-capable software. That'd be cool if you had a touch screen. But, uh, so that was interesting. There's a, an armband controller called a Maya. I wonder if you could use that to, to to mess with your 3D models in space. That'd be cool. I did a review on that on this page somewhere too. The not the last show, but the show before. No, this last show. I don't. I don't remember. It's in one of the t two two previous shows of the Maya armband controller. You can move. It's supposed to be good for 3D modeling. You might be able to work with and use that for your 3D models for your printer. Maybe. Uh, replace, replaceable print head, pr replaceable print beds for alternative materials. Oh, that's good. I guess you had to use different beds for different materials. I'm guessing. Replaceable nozzles for experimenters. That's also good. Designed for fast assembly in the U.S. for quality control. An ABS-based print bed allows you to print larger ABS parts. So you can make something big yet to print as separate parts, like Barnacles did. He printed the Master Chief helmet, and I don't know how many pieces, but it's like tons of pieces. A friend of his is finishing it for him. So, uh, he says the micro was designed for assembly and production in the USA. We will use a combination of imported and domestic components to assemble all of the printers near our Bethesda, Maryland location. 
So that's a good thing. That's another reason I like this. I'm liking this printer is, like I said, it's affordable. And it's something to experiment on and get used to 3D printing without having to learn all the adjustments. And I mean, it's not a bad thing having to learn how to manually adjust everything in a printer. It's just something that comes later. You start, start low and work your way up. Like we're starting with the cheap $20 uh, inkjet printer and work your way up to a laser, I guess. But yeah, that's something that I'm very interested in. I'm so interested. As a matter of fact, I, I, uh, I uh, supported their Kickstarter. I threw 30 bucks at them, which would get me a t-shirt. It's a good start. Hopefully when it comes out, hopefully sometime next year. Well, the pre-product, the ones that the Kickstarter supporters pre-order be coming out in early, mid next year, I guess. And uh, I'm guessing the uh, regular consumer model should probably be out next year sometime, but I can wait, you know, take some time, save money, and keep an eye on their, their progress, and, you know, there might be other innovations coming out by then, so. But yeah, that appeals to me monumentally. I'd love to get into 3D printer and watching Barnacles and Nerdgasm's videos in 3D printing. I'm thinking, oh, that'd be cool to play with. $1,000 and all the adjustments? You know, I don't have that kind of time. But now I might then, but I'd, at the, some point in the future I might have the time. But, you know, I'll work my way up, I'm sure, if I can, you know, get that started. And, you know, start with that one, the, the micro 3D. And, you know, who knows? You can work your way up. If you decide you really want to do you know, maybe you can make parts and sell them or something. If you, if you really get that into 3D printing... Cool. If not, you got something on your desk to play with, and they really, they really have a good idea here. Like I said, I really like it, and uh, not much more I can say about it. So, but yeah, I really, like I said, I really like it, and I'll show off my shirt when I get it sometime in July. And uh, that's about it. Not much more I can say about it. You can't read on their website, which the links will be in this video. And uh, appreciate you tuning in. Next week I should have more than one company. But if I get busy, I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, uh, adjust my, you know, use my time more efficiently next week. Just kind of got into a cluster thing and uh, kind of screwed things up. But I wanted to spotlight this company anyway, so if you always do that. One show, two shows, or one business, two business, three business. doesn't matter. Business, worthy business is going to get spotlighted no matter what. And I'll do a WordPress thing about it too. WordPress, WordPress blog. So... Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Remember, I, I welcome all constructive criticism, but I don't acknowledge trolls.